came from Abba. Oh, create Elysia, my son. You came this, from this program. You are from Abba Diocese. I want you to show if you came from Abba. Somebody came from Abba. And glory is going to fill your soul. Somebody came from Abba. If you come from Abba, can you run to this place? You came from Abba Diocese to this place. Thank you. Heaven came down and glory feels your soul. <clears throat> Somebody came from Abba Diocese. I don't know who you are. If you came from Abba Diocese, heaven came down and glory feels your soul. You can run out I don't know you, but I'm here in Abba Diocese. You came from Abba to this program. Hmm? You stay at Abba. Okay, you, you came from Abba, but you didn't come, not specifically for this program. Aha, uh -huh, good. Praise the Lord. Is there anybody that, any other person that came from Abba? Now, God of heaven knows what he is saying. Come, my dear. Heaven came down and glory filled your soul. You are not a member of the watchman, are you? You are not. But something is going to happen after today. Upon your soul. Lord, you are from Abba. Eh? Are you a watchman? Eh? Heaven came down and glory filled your soul. Heaven came down. Okay, I'm seeing more people from Abba. Lord, in the name of Jesus, mark this day. Don't forget this day. Because it may be in the course of years when what is happening today will come to reality, will come to manifestation. Don't forget that on the 3rd of May, of, of, of August, at Lagos in the Youth Week, that people that from Abba were called up and certain things were said. And then when those things begin to manifest, Remember that it was said. Father, thank you for these ones that are from Abba. Heaven came down and glory filled their soul. Heaven came down and glory filled your soul. Heaven came down and glory filled your soul. God saw you at the time you were getting ready to come. God saw you. And he knows the thing. Kagiyama Sanda. Call your press Kini Amate. Abura Mulu na Hamha. I 
Abi ala me jagema. Abu 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 abi ala me jagema. Ihi mere kasama. I have come to praise you. The God of heaven, I have come to praise you for what you have done. I have come to praise you, Lord. Lion of Judah, I have come to praise you for what you have done. Unyukuna obala. Hakumia tolo sapa kantara sana. That's why she can serve the living God. This is the instrument of God. I have arrested this one. Move it! Now make it! Now make it this one. No, you get them again. I have arrested this one for my Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, righteous Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus. Have your way in the life of these ones. Have your way in the life of these ones. Have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Hey. Hey, hey, to ya, on your wine, boys. Oh, praise him. Oh, yes, praise him. The Lord is great. Praise him, our God. Jehovah is good. Nukumau, pray. The Lord is great. Praise Him. Bring her up to me. Our God is good. Praise Him. The Lord is good. Embrace her. Hard. Embrace her. Hard. 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 Embrace her. Father, let there be impartation now. Let there be a transfer of the Spirit of God in this person, over to this person now. Ubuah! Ngwa! Hold her tight! Press her to yourself! Let there be impartation. Let the Spirit of Watchman, the Spirit of God in the Watchman, possess this lady now. Bunti Kambalahis Katara, Satana Makunia. In Isakaria Saprasana, Combrosilia Mangelia Scapasana. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pronia Simeku and Danasa. Hold her from the back, you. Moka Jehovah. Breast them too. Thank you. Front and back. To the front and to the back. Eji Anoro. Front and back, Echi Anoro. Front and back, Echi Anoro. Front and back. When we're in the house of Umuchineke, and there are some other people that are ministers of God. You have the spirit of God. Sisters, on the side, one here, one here. Does it? Does it? Abba Chile Queen, some way boy Jezazi. In no feet again. No escape. No escape. No escape. Can I hear a, a big, a big hallelujah? 
And they big amen. amen. God bless you. The Lord has done what he wanted to do. Not to mean what it should mean. But it is used figuratively. That is in a sense. To symbolize the unprecedented release of the Holy Spirit. Unprecedented release of the Holy Spirit. If you read in that Joel, chapter 2 and verse 28, you will see that after he had told them about the early rain and the latter rain, he began to show them a figurative, a symbolic experience of what that rain meant in Joel chapter 2 from verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out, that afterwards means later times I will pour out like the pour out from heaven I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams your young men shall see visions and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit Let's stop there. Amen. He said, I will pour out my spirit. After he had talked about the latter rain, he now began to say, what I mean by that latter rain is my spirit that I will pour out. And it will be like when rain is falling. And let me ask, if rain is falling, and somebody moves out under the rain, not wearing raincoat or not using umbrella. Can will that person be drenched by the rain? Yes. Eh? Yes. You'll find out that the person will be wet by the rain, whether he likes it or not. The rain must fall on the person. That's why they wear raincoat or they carry umbrella. So that they may be under the rain, but that rain will not fall on them. And that's what happened to some people who come into the house of God. They come with spiritual umbrella. So that when the rain of the Holy Ghost is falling, it will not touch them. It will be falling on their umbrella and falling on other people. If you are sleeping here while I am preaching, you are, you, you are carrying a spiritual umbrella. You don't want the latter rain to touch you. So touch somebody that is sleeping. And tell him you are putting, you are carrying a spiritual umbrella. <laughs> remove this raincoat. <laughs> tell the person that is sleeping, he said, remove raincoat, oh. or else this letter rain will not touch you. If you want the letter rain to touch you, remove umbrella. Because there is no way you will carry umbrella in the rain. And then that rain will touch you. Tell the person sleeping, you are carrying spiritual umbrella. Stop sleeping. God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Can the sleeper say, I am not going to sleep again? If you are sleeping, say, I'm not going to sleep again. I want this latter rain to fall on me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So, Joel said, afterwards, I am going to send the letter rain. I'm going to send rain. Now, when you now go to Acts of the Apostles chapter 2, shall we go there? Acts of the Apostles chapter 2. Who is there? I can't hear. I can't hear. I can't hear you. Raise your hand now if you say you are there. Now, in that Acts chapter two, verses fifteen to seventeen, Peter. Now, when the Holy Ghost was now poured out on the people in the upper room, Peter told them that this is that thing that Joel talked about. To show 
that the later rain he was talking about was not just an ordinary rain. It is the rain from heaven. Praise the Lord. Acts chapter 2, 15 and 17. For these are not drunk as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, that I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. So, that shows us that the latter rain that was being talked about was not just ordinary rain, but it is the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. And it will be poured out in the latter days. Again, somebody will say, why was the Holy Ghost compared to rain? How can you take a whole Holy Spirit and compare him to rain? Is the Holy Spirit rain? How can you compare it and say that it is rain? How? Now, if you go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, reading from verse 10. Uh, uh, how can you be getting, guy, can you be there before me? You are not there. If you are there, how many verses? 13. 13. Yes. That's great. God bless you all. You are, that shows me that you are coming along. The Lord God of heaven shall bless you with his power and his word in Jesus' name. Look at what God said in Isaiah 55 from verse 10. For as the what? Rain cometh down and the snow from heaven. And returneth not thither, but watereth the earth. And maketh it to bring forth and God. That it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word. So shall my word be that cometh down from out of the, my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall ac accomplish that which I please and shall prosper in the thing whereunto I send it. For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the fair tree. And instead of the briar shall come up the mighty tree. And it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Now, he said, my word is like what? Rain. So you now see why the Holy Ghost is likened to the Rata rain. Just like the rain comes down from heaven and does what? That is how the Holy Spirit will come down from heaven. It will come like the rain comes. That means no matter wherever you are, as long as you are not carrying a spiritual umbrella, that rain will fall on you. Is somebody following me? As long as you are not using an umbrella of sin and all these things, not paying attention to cover yourself, that rain must surely fall on you. So as the rain comes from heaven, so will the Holy Ghost come from heaven. Again, the rain, not only that it comes from heaven, it comes with a divine purpose. He said that rain was sent on a message by God that it has to come to the earth, water the earth, not returning to heaven until the earth has germinated fruits and brought fruits and brought seed and now give food to the eater and fruits to the sower. He will make the purpose of God and the, and the work of God 
to prosper and bear fruit. In the same way that the rain does that particular thing, making fruit to germinate, that is how the Holy Ghost will come and make the work of God here. Water it. Water the church. Water the members of the church. Water the disciples of the church. And make them to bear spiritual what? Fruits. Is somebody following me? So what the rain does to the ground is what the Holy Spirit does to the church. He makes individual believers to bear what? Fruits. Do you see why he was comparing the Holy Spirit to the rain? Is somebody following what I'm saying? Eh? So, he will make it this, a, a reason for God, for God sending the rain. There's a reason for sending the Holy Ghost. And it will help them to bear the fruit. And when the rain waters the ground, it remains in the ground. And that is how when the Holy Spirit comes to water a man, it remains inside the man. I'm going to show us. Praise the Lord. It remains inside the human being. And then, bears spiritual fruits. Now, the Holy Ghost also comes as a kind of water. Because when rain falls, it is water that falls. When the rain, the Holy Ghost comes, he comes like a water and make the spiritual life of people to prosper and then makes the vineyard of God to now prosper. The church is the vineyard of God. And so it makes it to prosper and to bring fruits. Amen. Now, we find out that specifically when the Holy Ghost now came in the ass of the apostles, the symbol it came with was symbol of what? Rain. It was like, the Bible said it was like, like tongues of fire. That is, if you light candle, you will see that flicker. The light that the candle carries at the, the, the tip. Have you ever seen it before? Eh? When you compare it to the, a drop of rain, you will find out that that thing is like a drop of rain. But when the Holy Ghost came upon Jesus Christ, in Matthew chapter 3 and verse 16, did he come like a tongue of fire? No. He came like what? He came like a dove. Is somebody following me? He came like a dove. Because that one was not the letter rain. That Holy Ghost coming upon Jesus Christ was not what Elijah, I mean Joel, described as the latter rain. That latter rain was to come. And so when Jesus told the apostles to go to Jerusalem and wait for that promise of the Father, which he made through Joel, then when the Holy Ghost came, he came and sat upon the people as what? Like drops of water. Acts of the Apostles chapter 2. Are you there? Are you there? Can you guess the, 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 the verse I'm going to read now? Okay. Amen. Verse 3. Who got it? Amen. Now verse 3. And there appeared unto them cloven what? Tongues. Like as fire. And it sat upon each of them. When he came upon Jesus Christ, it was like a dove. When that, and when it came upon the apostles, because it symbolized the latter rain, it came like drops of water. But it was drops of fire. But like drops of water. Showing it was a rain 
of the fire that makes them powerful to work for Jesus. It came like drops of fire, like drops of, of water. Now, that makes you understand what Jesus was talking about. And then, Jesus knew that these ones cannot do this work except it was they get power from heaven. Tongues of fire coming upon them. And this can be done. Jesus knew that these ones I am going away. They are going to take over from where I stopped. And if they must do this work, the Holy Ghost must come upon me. Upon them like it came upon me. They must receive the Holy Ghost like I received the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Spirit helped me to do this work. And so when Jesus was going, he said, another helper will come to you. And when he came, he came like rain to fulfill what Joel said that it was going to be the latter rain. To Jesus, he just came like one dove rested on him. Praise the Lord. Let me ask, do you have a rain of doves? Can doves fall like rain? So you see, for the thing to reach so many people at the same time, it will fall like what? Rain. And so Joel said it will be like rain. And Jesus knowing, told them that the promise of the Father is coming. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 1 verse 4. Good. Good. Are you there? Yeah. Chapter 1 and verse what? 4. And being assembled together with them, he commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith unto them, Ye have heard me of me. For John truly baptized with what? Water. But ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. And verse 8. You shall receive what? Power. After that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses of me. You see that? You shall carry on with this work that I was doing. I am going away. But you will carry on. But before you carry on, the Holy Ghost will fall upon you like rain falls upon a man. And so, so many people that are under the rain, everybody will have at least one drop of rain coming upon himself. That's why he described the Holy Ghost baptism as what? Rain. It will fall upon so many people at the same time. If we go out on the rain now and the rain is falling, we leave the rain say, okay, Pastor Mike, uh, because you are pastor, rain, I will fall upon you before I fall on others. Is it what will happen? No. You find that the rain will fall upon everybody at the same time. And that's what God wants to do today. It will fall on everybody at the same time. Because it is now like rain, no longer like the flood. Amen. Now, the water does not return to heaven, but remains on the earth to achieve the purpose of God. And so the Holy Spirit, when he comes, he will not go out. He will dwell inside you. In John chapter 7, John 7 verses 37 to 39. Are you there? Yes. If you are there, tell me I'm there. Amen. From verse what? 37 to 39. In the last days, in the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and what? Pray. Come unto me and what? Pray. Verse 8, 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his what? Pray. Belly. Shall flow what? 
rivers of living water. That is to say, the Holy Ghost will come and not go back and dwell inside you. And verse 39 says, But this he spake of what? Of who? Of the Spirit which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified. So, you now see that when he was talking about the latter rain, he was talking about the Holy Spirit. Is it clear now? Is it clear? I didn't hear you very well. Amen. Now, after I have talked about the latter rain, let me talk briefly about the upper room experience. You see, you see our title is the latter rain much more than the upper room experience. When Jesus dismissed his disciples to go, in Acts of the Apostles chapter 1, we are not reading. He told them to go. When they went back to Jerusalem, he said, go and wait. When they went, they went to an upper room. Just like you see this, this story building here. You see this one here is an upper room where the electricians are, where the PA system is. It's called what? Upper room. It is, you use a step to, go, to enter there. I have been to Jerusalem myself. I have gone, I have seen that upper room. It is all just as, as big as this particular room. This particular place, the, the size, it may be just about this size, or yes, just the size of this room where the electrician stay. I said I have gone there myself. I entered the upper room where Jesus ate that last supper. I've been there. Now, when they were there, the Bible said some things happened. Number one, they went to elect another apostle to replace Judas Iscariot. That was one of the experiences. But that was not what Jesus told them to do. Did he tell them to go there and elect another apostle? No. He told them to go to Jerusalem and do what? Wait. Is it not true? Go to Jerusalem and what? Wait. But when they went to Jerusalem, instead of waiting, Peter went there and told them, let's appoint another apostle. Let's select somebody. So that is not the experience we are talking about. Forget about that one. We are talking about that experience that happened later. When there was sound like a mighty rushing wind. And eventually, the place was filled. And the Holy Ghost fell upon them. That experience is the one we are talking about. He said that what will happen here will be much more than that experience at the upper room in the name of Jesus Christ. Ha! I pray that you are listening. Don't sleep. Is somebody following me? Don't sleep. The experience of the upper room is that experience of the Holy Ghost baptism. Amen. Now, having shown us what the upper room experience is and showed us what the letter rain means, I now come to the topic that says the latter rain much more than the upper room experience. Much more than the upper room experience. And then, what he's simply telling us is that today, that the Pentecostal experience 
will be experienced much more. Not that tongues of fire will be upon your head, but you will sing, prophesy, speak in tongues, and what have you in the name of Jesus Christ. The rain from heaven for ministers, for ministries, in the last days will be much more than what it was in those days. I will show you why. But first of all, let me show us the characteristics of the upper room experience. What happened at the upper room? One, characteristics of the upper room experience. One, there was a command. Jesus said, go to Jerusalem and what? Wait. They, are, they received a the command. And today, God has given a command and said, all the youths, bring them to Ayetoro. Let them come and wait. Because they shall be baptized with Holy Ghost not many days after they have come. And you came here on Wednesday, am I right? Today is what? Thursday. Friday. So you have, this is about the third day. And what happens at the third day? Jesus said, I walk the first day, the second day, and the third day I am what? Perfected. He said, not many days you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. So you are here as a matter of command, like it was in that time. Two, the upper room experience is an experience with a purpose. What purpose? That they may be the witnesses of Jesus. That they may be my witnesses. In Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, we are not reading. So, you are coming here today is for a purpose. That is, that you may take the mantle of the church and the mantle of preaching from we, your parents, that are getting old and are getting away from the scene. That you may step into our world shoes and carry on from where we stopped. So Jesus asked them, go to Jerusalem and wait. I am going so that you can continue from where I stopped. So that is another reason why you are here. So that you can be, you can carry on with the gospel after we have gone. That is another reason, another characteristic. There was a purpose. Three, they had, they had experienced ministers with them. Paul, I mean, Peter, James, John, Bartholomew, the 12 disciples of Jesus was among them. And so here also, you have your experienced pastors. Pastor Clems administered to you. Pastor Protes, the Dicean pastor ministered to you yesterday, am I right? And different other experienced ministers have ministered to you. I am talking to you now. After me, another experienced minister will talk to you. So there is no reason why you shouldn't be filled with the Holy Ghost. There's no reason why you should not get the letter rain today. Can somebody say amen? amen. So, while they were in the upper room, they continued with one accord in prayers and in supplication. And since you came here on Wednesday, you have been praying you have been interacting like brothers and sisters. Am I right? And you have been, you have been praying. And you have been doing supplications. Praise the Lord. You have been praying. You have been doing supplications. And you have been waiting on the Lord. Messages have been preached. I saw that the Diocesan pastor talked to you people on sanctification. Am I right? Yeah. All those things are like waiting in the upper room, preparing you for the letter rain. And today, you shall get the letter rain in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, they were not to go and relax. 
they were to go and wait. They went and started waiting. And when they were waiting, they were waiting with expectation. So if you came to this meeting, you must have come with expectation. Did you come with expectation? Yes. They were expecting that a promise of God will come. Now, what was they were waiting for was a promise. And the person that promised is God, and God does not lie. And what you are waiting for today is a promise. And the promise of God. And God does not what? Lie. Then, the baptism that was promised is an overwhelming experience. Jesus said, go and wait like John baptized with water. That is how you are going to be baptized. And baptism means putting somebody inside the water completely. And the water will cover the person. And that is how the Holy Ghost will take your body, take everything about you over until you begin to speak a tongues that you don't understand. The apostles began to speak in tongues that they never learned. The Holy Ghost took them over. So will he take you over today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And Jesus told them that you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days from the day he was asking them to go. And God is telling me to tell you is making me understand that you shall be baptized in the Holy, with the Holy Ghost not many days from that day you came. From Wednesday that you came, it shall not be many days and you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. And that day is today in the name of Jesus Christ. It is today in the name of Jesus. Now, Somebody will ask me, how do you know that we will be baptized with the Holy Ghost today? One I have told you, he said, it shall not be many days from the days you came. So, you, this, this program is ending tomorrow. Am I right? Aha. Uh -huh. Now, since Wednesday you have been here, and if he says not many days, for three days you have been here, and so, it shall not be, you are not supposed to stay until one year. He said it is a matter of days. And this is the third day from the day you came. And more than the third day, since some people were fasting and praying here, I had that thieves visited you even here. That is good. God will take care of them. Now, not many days from now. He said you from that first day. And today is that particular day. It fits that day. That is one reason. Another reason is that God, in the day they were in the upper room, they were how many of them? Who knows? This is quiz. Who will answer? How many we are there? Eh? Good. One hundred and what? You are following. One hundred and twenty people. Now, how many of you are here? One hundred and what? Are you in thousands or in hundreds? <laughs> now, if God was excited to baptize 120 people, how much more will you think he'll be excited to baptize four, three thousand people waiting for him one day? Amen. Amen. And if 120 people that were baptized preached one day and won 3,000 people. How many shall 4,000, 3,000 people baptized in one day win when they go out to preach? 
So God is much more interested in baptizing you because there will be more resort from these very people today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, the need of the hour is much more in our days. They need what the devils are doing today. Is it the same thing they were doing in that time of the upper room? No. There is need for a more outpouring of the Holy Ghost today. So today, the outpouring will be greater than that of the upper room experience. Does somebody believe that? Do you believe that? Again, praise the Lord. I'm showing you the reason why the experience of today should be higher. Let me show you what the Bible says in Haggai chapter 2 verses 5 to 7 and verse 9. Uh -huh, that one, you won't get it quickly now. Eh? Haggai chapter 2. How many verses are Haggai chapter 2? Eh? Oh, if you are there, then clap for yourself. I am only going to read two scriptures and we pray. Pay attention to these scriptures I'm going to read now. I'm trying to cut the message short so that we will go. Haggai chapter 2 verse 5 to 7 and verse 9. I will not read. But one person will come and read for us. The first person I see is hand up. Uh huh. Somebody's running out already. Okay. Praise the Lord. Yes, my daughter. Yeah, read for us. Praise the Lord. Haggai 2, verse 5. According to the word that I covenanted with you, when you came out of Egypt, so my spirit remained among you. Fear ye not. For thus says the Lord of hosts, Yet once it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens, and the earth, and the sea, and the dry land, and I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come, and I will fill this house with glory, say the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, say the Lord of hosts. Finally, verse 9. The glory of this latter house shall be, shall be better than the former, said the Lord of hosts. And this is the place will I give peace, said the Lord of hosts. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, my daughter. Praise the Lord. Good, my daughter. Keep it up. Keep it up. I am, I am seeing the people that I'm going to, we are going to use when the satellite broadcasting begins. I'm seeing my children that are going to be newscasters in the Watchman television. When the Watchman television station comes on board, I am seeing the people that we are going to use our newscasters and then duty continuity announcers and all that, the people that we will use to anchor talk shows and all that and read the network news. Oh, praise the Lord! Do you see why the Holy Ghost wants to baptize you? I am getting old. I am not going to be the person that will be reading news. It is those of you. I have seen one of them today. Are there some other people? Are there some other people that can read as well as she read? Praise the Lord. Listen. I am looking for the people that will sing. I will always love you. <laughs> will always love you. <laughs> I'm looking for people that will sing. The people that will sing all the way. To Calvary he went 
for me Jesus went for me Savior went for me all the way to Calvary he went for me he died to set me free he touched me oh yes he touched me and all the joy that filled my soul something happened and now I know he touched me and made me whole oh yes he touched me I say and oh the joy to feel my soul something happened and now I know he touched me and made me I know they are here I know they are here I know my Mary Marquis are here I know my songwriters my Jim Reeves are here when the television station comes on by that time I will have been an old daddy I will be sitting in my house and watching you singing that's why you are going to be baptized in the Holy Ghost today hallelujah hey do you know he loves you and that he will abide till the end. Do you know, my Jesus? Do you know, my friend? Have you heard? He loves you, and that he will abide till the end. Do you know my Jesus? Do you know my friend? Have you had he loves you and that he will about it? If if I can sing it this way, what shall these my choristers do? <laughs> Is somebody following me? My God shall baptize you all today in the name of Jesus. My God shall baptize you all today in the name of Jesus. My God shall baptize you all in the name of Jesus. My God shall baptize you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Do you know they are going to show drama today? You know they are going to show drama today? And you know that I am the daddy of the dramatists. Do you know? Do you know that the dramatists are my children? Now, do you want to act with anointing? You want to act with anointing? And that Holy Ghost will come upon you before. Are there people here that want to be that, that want to be wonderful actors and actresses? You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Today is the day of the latter. Today is the day of the latter. He said that the glory of this house shall be greater than that of the upper room. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I told you that I have two scriptures. I'm already up on the Wuzime Wuna. Eh? Praise the Lord. It's all over me. It's moving me around. He's moving me around. He's 
moving me around. It's all over me. It's moving me around. The Holy Ghost power is moving. Are you getting the picture already? Are you getting into the mood already? Hallelujah! Hey! Psalm 8. Psalm 8. And verse 2. I'm looking for a brother. A male newscaster. That will read Psalm 8 verse 2. A male newscaster. That will read it fine for me. Okay. Out of, out of the mouth of babies and sucklings has thou ordained strength because of thy enemies, that thou mightest see the enemy and the avenger. Read it again. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings has thou ordained strength because of thy enemies, that thou mightest see the enemy and the avenger. I'm telling you the reason why the latter rain should be greater than that of the former. God has said that glory of this house, which house? This one we are here today. The glory of the watchman house of the latter rain shall be greater than that of the upper room in the name of Jesus. Again he said that out of the mouth of babes and sucklings God had perfected what? Praise. That means if God will do it by the mouth of babes and sucklings, that means you are in the picture. Out of your mouth, the thing will be established. I read finally in Zechariah chapter 10 and verse 1. After that, we will now pray. Thank you, Lord. Who say it, Who say it, Who say it, Onya ngwe ngboko lidumure o iya idumure Hallelujah 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 Zechariah chapter 10 and verse 1 Somebody to come and read it for me Okay <laughs> Praise the Lord Yes my daughter you are here Zechariah chapter 10 verse 1 Ask ye of the Lord rain in the time of the later rain so the Lord shall make bright glass and give them showers of rain to everyone grass in the field Good my daughter Go and continue to train And they come with watchman television <laughs> Hallelujah Look, 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 look Listen I'm going to speak with one vernacular that is very funny now the diocesan pastor of Mbise of, the, of Ihera Diocese he said something in, in, in Mbise language he said Chile keme hwe dianga aba friyan tulala let me explain to you he said when God does something that is somehow that you will release one cannon shot for him this, go, this gun they put on the ground and they put fire that when God does some things that you release some gunshots for him come on release some gunshots for the Lord Cry! Hallelujah can you go to that Zechariah and read along with me Zechariah chapter 10 and verse what? Eh? 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 Oh, I read. Ask ye now of the Lord the latter rain, so the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to everyone, everyone grass in the field. That even grasses in the field shall have rain and he says you ask God now for the latter rain is somebody hearing me 
That is where I am ending. He said, are you ready? He said, ask me now for the latter rain. Ask God now for the latter rain. Is somebody ready to ask for the latter rain? Call your ministers and let them come. This is moving me to your There is the abundance of rain. 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 Oh yes! Oh Botswana. Oh Botswana. At the count of seven. At the count of seven. After counting seven. I wish I will spell Jesus at the last S. Everybody will shout Jesus. Congregation, march on my way. Lara, Mbote me was here. Jesus, praise him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The power is released. The power is released. The latter rain is falling already. 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 It's falling already. In the diverse places, it's falling already. 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 Move into the congregation. Move. Different directions. Move. Spread the water on the people. Go to the back. If there are some people in front, go to the back. Where other people have gone. Don't go where others have gone before. Go. 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 Go to the back. Go. Go. Shambo tolo bus, shilombo tolo mbolo konso tolo bus. As kafrozi atena maso kafrozi ata, amolo si atere kesia. Son tolo sika, as kafrozi anatas kafasa. Yaho, yolo ro kamba la senteros kimia. Lord. Thank you for the rain. Thank you for the rain. Pastor Victor, hand over to somebody and come back. Oh, yes, oh, 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 oh, yes, o
Anointed broadcasters, evangelists, Pastor Victor, you can come back. Oh, yes. Give me water. Pram, 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 pram. Yeah. 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 Maserizia. As Kabara Sazia Masan. Yeah. 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 This choir. Get ready to go places. Get ready to go places. Get ready to go to places. I anoint you. I anoint you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. Oh, 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 Thank you. 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 This should be okay. If it's gone around, it's okay. Yes, Salasi. Give to others. It's okay. Hey. If you know the areas where you didn't sprinkle the water on them. Listen to me. The drop of this water on you. Consider it like the drop of the unction. The drop of this water upon your head. See yourself as having a drop of the Holy Ghost unction upon your head. See yourself as having the tongue of the Holy Ghost upon you. And watch what begins to happen in your life from now. I charge your tongues to open. Speak in diverse tongues. Manifestation of the power of God. Diverse manifestations upon your lives in the name of Jesus 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 oh your solo saka praise your toes of Mahana if those that receive the drop of the tongue cloven tongues of fire spoke in tongues and prophesied so you are the power of God has rested upon you I try to speak in tongues. I tell you to prophesy. Do diverse kinds of works. Harass the devils. Cast out devils. Go in the power of the Lord God of heaven. Go in the strength of Jesus Christ. And no enemy shall stand before you. No enemy shall stand before you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Endeavor to be sure. That at least. A drop of this water gets upon your head. Mocha Jehovah. And watch what the Lord is already doing. Hallelujah. 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 My ears are waiting to hear what the Lord is doing. Victor, oh yes, Sabosaka, my time is far spent. When they finish, you conclude.